Symbols have a sacred meaning in every culture, religion, and country throughout the world. Its importance is least explained. Origins of candles are unknown, but they were used in most eras of mankind. The Romans were credited with developing the modern wick candle, using it to aid travelers at dark and to light homes and places of worship at night. The word niska means honest, pure, and coming out of darkness. According to Sumati, a candle-making artist and owner of Niska, when an aromatic candle is burnt in a room, it often generates positive feeling and changes people's mood instantaneously. Hence, she named her business Niska. Having observed many art pieces come to life while working with her mother on various art projects, Sumati developed a passion for various art forms very early in her life and candle making is one such passion that turned into a profession. Sumati will now show us steps involved in making a candle. Materials needed for candle making The most basic ones are paraffin wax, metal molds, silicon molds, liquid colors, cotton wick, candle perfumes, and a heat gun. The most commonly available wax in India are paraffin wax, which is a byproduct of petroleum that emits carcinogens, which are not very healthy, beeswax, which is a natural byproduct of beehive. Other wax products that can be imported are soy wax, palm wax, and wax from plants like sunflower seed. Other things that we can embed to make the candle look beautiful are colored wax flecks. Wax sheets, that are thin sheets of wax papers, are used for stamping techniques or making photo candles. They are not easily available in India. In India, Colors are commonly available in liquid form, otherwise one can import blocks of dyes in various colors. Wax crayons can be used to color the wax. Perfumes used for aromatic candles should specify to be used for candles as the other perfumes are flammable. Heat gun is used to repair the damaged area of the candle while demolding. Steps involved in making a candle Melting the wax uh, We have to melt the wax uh, in double boiler. We have to uh, use a bigger container with uh, half filled with water and use another container filled with wax in it. And we have to boil it until it, uh, it reaches 175 degrees uh, centigrade. So that is about uh, melting the wax. Preparing the wick uh, before we use the cotton wick, we have to wax the cotton wick a little bit. Just dip the uh, wick inside the molten wax and let it dry for one, one minute and it will be ready for use. I just uh, cut it down, whatever is the waxed part and I am letting it dry. Just like this for one minute and it will be dry. And when it's dry enough, I will just put it inside the bowl. And pull it out. I have to make sure that you know it's just touching the base properly otherwise it will be uh, tilted to one side and the candle will not stand evenly. Pouring into the mold. Now the wax is uh, molten. We'll just pour the molten wax which is in 175 degrees and I'll just pour it inside the mold slowly till the top. And now we want to make sure that the wick stays in the center. So we have to hold the, uh, we have to make sure that the wick uh, is in the center. So I'll be using a cloth clip and uh, position the wick in the center and clip it. Now whatever is the excess wick, I'm just going to cut it. Now paraffin wax has a lot of air uh, in it. So uh, in a, uh, it will just, uh, you know when it starts setting, it will uh, take the air and it will start sinking in another half an hour's time. 
so we have to release the air by poking the uh, area near the wick and let the air pass and do a second pour to fill it completely demolding we have to use something called mold releaser while using the metal molds for uh, the uh, for the candles to release easily out of the molds after it sets uh, in silicon molds uh, we don't have to use anything it's it's rubber so we, ju we just have to topple it upside down and then uh, whatever can after the candle is set it just comes out uh, the other ways of demolding um, is uh, you can either keep it in the freezer and uh, just about when it is in the right temperature take it out and then you know we can demold it or else we can use a heat gun and uh, blow in the sides of the mold and then you know release it but then all these are techniques you know where you have to be pretty sure about what you're doing and uh, if you even miss the correct temperature the uh, the candle will start cracking Uh, this is how uh, the candle will look after demolding. So um, you know it's completely set. Decorating. Uh, this is a hurricane candle. Uh, we can use uh, several embeddeds which I spoke just some time back about pot puri, coloured uh, uh, coconut fibres and all that. We can embed it in this type of candles and make it look uh, very colourful and pretty. Uh, so this is a uh, um, dried leaf hurricane candle. Hurricane candles are basically hollow from inside. You burn a tea light uh, and place the hurricane candle on top of it and then whatever is embedded it illuminates.